the 119 machine you can see team earning the badger who needs more power on the mini twin i do we felt he let himself down he let me down he just let a lot of people down we were disappointed it was a disgrace absolute disgrace i'm surprised he's been allowed back to be honest and we're rolling Down for first, down for first, down for first. Greetings, Mega Shed Diaries, middle of June, Father's Day 2024. Not sure what the date is, can't see my watch. Uh, so this is new for me. I finally got the audio adapter for, from GoPro so I can plug in a microphone. Um, so we're vlogging, motor vlogging. I'm not sure how this will go, so this is kind of a test. I'm on the Green Monster SV650. Uh, I just thought I'd go out and have a ramble and just chat away Baron Von Grumble style. Down for first, down for first. So I'm going to talk about some plans we've got for my road bike. At the moment, um, this uh, SV650, I've got, I'm chasing a, a problem with the carburettors that I've had pretty much since I got it. I've had them apart, on and off. But, um, pretty sure I've got an air leak. Um, I identified that spraying carb cleaner into the um, around the intake boots and you can see see from one of the previous videos the engine night went up and I'm like all oh, right I know what it is then bought the bullet ordered some new intake boots and o-rings put them on and it's the same so it's um, the pilot jets the pilot fuel screws are set uh, oh. Thank you. Pilot's uh, fuel screws are set as they should be, um, but I do have a twin exit aftermarket Delkovich exhaust on, so all of the information I've read about uh, what the settings to these fuel screws are, nobody, even when they've put bigger air filters and stuff on, everybody seems to keep the same, same settings, two and a half screws out, but it does seem like there's an air leak, so I'm chasing that down. So probably when I get back, I'm going to take take the air box off again and have another look and see if I can work out what's going on. <clears throat> I might need to replace the uh, clamps on the on the intake boots if they're not uh, tightening up properly. But anyway, that's one of the problems I'm chasing. Um, also, so plans for the road bike. I'm not racing for a few weeks now, so I'm having a bit of a think about this. <coughs> um, got a plan next year with a good friend who we um, attempted to ride between and climb the three peaks. Uh, would be well, not nine years ago now, 2015, and we were—I was a big cyclist then, not so much now. He's still into cycling, but uh, we failed basically because. Um, we buggered our knees up running down Ben Nevis, so when we got to Scarfell Pike, he could barely walk. Um, we had to we had to <coughs> call it a day when we finished Scarfell Pike, but we'd done like 300 miles of cycling in between that and three like 100 miles a day for three days. Anyway, he's bought himself a Royal, en Royal Enfield Continental GT. Uh, I managed to I managed to persuade him not to buy one of the like 26 horsepower 500 singles. So just that'd just be embarrassing. But um, yeah, so I think it's it's got like 50 some horsepower, so it can do motorway speeds. But uh, we thought we'd attempt it again together and just ride motorbikes up to 
three peaks a leisurely pace maybe camp maybe b and b we're not sure we haven't decided yet um and go and uh, do a bit of an easier job and um make a long weekend of it climb the three peaks and complete what we didn't do it'll be 10 years ago so that was planning to do that about you know next summer basically next june maybe but before i do that um i want to make some modifications to to the bike now it's once i get it mechanically sound and the carbs working and stuff i want to make a sort of a retro racer um cafe racer type thing um, I watched a video on some some other guy that's done similar similar to what I want to do. Um, so I want to have like you know a half fairing at the top, remove the low fairing, maybe have a belly pan on it. Um, and the frame, um, when I removed the green paint off it with petrol a while back. I started off uh, use, scrubbing it with a wire brush and it's made a right mess of it, the paint underneath. So I'm thinking of taking it all apart and um, either painting or powder coating the frame. Um, and then I'll need to take off, all, take off the current fairing, get some different bar end mirrors, change indicators. Um, not going too mental with it, but I do want to keep the pillion the pillion seats, um, I'm going to have them recovered with sort of like you know, tan leather. There's a place not far away that does um, seat upholstery, so I'm going to swap the seats and have a, a sort of a cover that goes over the rear one to you know just you know, cover it up when there's no pillion on. Um, and I quite, I'd, I'd want to swap the exhausts for like cone exhausts if I can get that to work. I'd, I'd probably keep the system I've got, I quite like the twin exit look. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts for that. Uh, but yeah, just you know, make it sort of a, make it my own, make it a bit more unique. So other thoughts about the bike. Uh, while I've got it apart and um, doing the frame, obviously I have to have the engine out. Um, as I'm not going to be racing this one, I thought I might as well do the uh, cam cam swap. So I've got I've got a full set of uh, cams still, um, and I can do this swap where you switch the inlet cam into put, put put the inlet cam into the exhaust and put the injection cam in the inlet, um, and that's meant to give it uh, like you know 75 horsepower or something. Um, and we found. Um, I found a, a guy, an old guy, not too far away that um, I can take the bike to and get, get him to set up on the dyno, get the air fuel ratio right. Um, so that's probably worth doing. I'm just having to ride out to my usual uh, destination from to Melton Mulberry. Um, currently on the road out of the village of Barkby Thorpe to South Croston. And hopefully this guy will be turning right here and I'll go left. This is boring, I'll be cutting this bit out. Go on, turn right, turn right, turn right. Is he going right? He's going right, great. We'll go left. Oh, gravel. Resurface road. Skid risks, oh dear.
So this is the village of Beebe. Uh, what a nice row. I hope they've not gone all the way with this dressing. But this is, yeah, this road between village of Beebe and South Croston. Oh yeah, there's gravel everywhere. Oh dear. wrecked it. Well, maybe should I leave the video on, just watch me stack it on this effing gravel. Yeah, alright, I'll be stopping again. Oh, we've got decent tarmac again. That's because of the it's too lean at idle. Remember to go up the gears and not down the gears there. I have to really think about not using brake shift. I've, uh, I put my I thought oh, I'm, I can manage now, I can do both. I really have to think hard about not going the wrong way in the gearbox. Into the village of South Croston. And then I'll be going up the hill and joining the B6047 from Market Harbour to Melton. Lovely road. I used to cycle this road quite a lot. Really steep hill here. I tell you it's a lot easier on a 70 horsepower motorbike than it is on a push bike. burial ground there which um, I was quite keen on being buried at uh, you know just put you in a cardboard box plant a tree or something uh, however discussed that with my wife and she wasn't keen on it and says we should be um, should be cremated so yeah I'll be going with that Nice road to the right there that goes all the way to Market Harbour. I'm taking it the way it takes me to Melton. Melton Mowbray, seven miles. So that way, next village, Tilton on the Hill. Uh, 50 miles an hour, well, whatever. Hi, everyone, sir. Alright, alright. Got nothing to say now. No. Just gonna be editing out lots of silence and waffle. Oh, there's 
a big open expanse of airfield coming up. See if I can get past these. We're right at the top of the hill, it's a beautiful view. I remember what I was going to talk about. Yeah, um, other technical stuff with uh, videos and editing. So um, I've been really struggling with my laptop editing videos. Um, there's just it's just too slow. Yeah, even when I reduce the file sizes to uh, make them proxy low quality files, it's just you know that particularly trying to edit the sounds the sound just doesn't match with the video and anyway I'm gonna get I'm getting a new laptop that's more powerful more RAM hopefully it'll make video editing easier so what I've got like three two weekends of, of racing recorded and other areas other bits and pieces that I'm just not doing anything with I'm just gonna wait until I've got a new laptop and see if I can do it better and quicker uh good <laughs> <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Right, we're onto the airfield. Yeah. Get past here. into the village of Burstall, my hometown. Uh, just giving it as a test, we're just rolling at 40 miles an hour now, just see what it sounds like. 
and that's a wrap for this video and I'll maybe get around to publishing it in like a month's time when I've done the rest so hopefully I'll be editing this on my new computer that I've just ordered down for first Mega shed out.